Yo guys, what's up? Homegrown Big coming at you week three of World Carnivore Month. Week two of Hyper Carnivore OMAD for myself. Uh, this week I feel like I turned the corner on OMAD. Uh, last week I was a little up and down. This week just super smooth and solid. Perfect digestion. Really high clarity and energy. And um, just felt really good and I can kind of see why some people rave about OMAD. Um, my biggest benefits I've noticed are stable energy, uh, really good fasted workouts, and really good mental clarity, and actually really good sleep. So those are all interesting things. Um, this week I did open up my eating window by half hour and that's because I break my fast at work and then I have a commute home. So I just added on that time to ensure I have enough time to get adequate calories to sustain my training and uh, keep me going so I don't crash and burn. So there was that. Uh, coming up, uh, you will be seeing myself in Bobby's perspective having a little conversation, which will be fun. And he recently did this uh, response video to Freely, and I thought he did such a fair and just and actual really truly compassionate response to her video in a way that I just don't have the time or patience to do. Uh, but I did watch his video and I commented that um, eggs have 100% bioavailability, which is a scientific truth as well as we know it to be. Uh, and it's one of the reasons why struggling vegans do well when returning to eggs because they have 100% bioavailable protein and preformed nutrients which are not in plant foods. And it's one of the reasons why the vegan movement of ethically sourced eggs in addition to a vegan diet exists. Uh, and, you know, you wait for the comments that come on that. And my point with this is that there's help for people who want to stay in the I'm not going to kill an animal genre. You know, you can eat backyard hen eggs and be healthier. Okay, there's some options. Yeah, better options than a litany of supplement powders and pills. And uh, I think that that's a very important consideration for people who are struggling. And this guy, Fruity Ronster, puts as a response that like, I'm 100% heart disease, 100% kidney disease, 100% inflammation, and that I have homegrown big health problems. And I just wanna to touch on that a little bit because he's saying this with zero evidence of any disease in me. In fact, I am at the best health that I have been since my early 20s. And I think that my results speak for themselves. I went from being a flabby, probably creeping towards serious problems with metabolic health, vegan, with dental issues, with blood work problems, with bloody noses, with memory issues, just a hot mess, and brought my health back with ecosystem, permaculture, which I grow everything here with the utmost care, zero chemicals, you know, put all my time and money and energy into it so that I'm not using plastic packaging, I'm not adding to shipping in foods from, you know, thousands of miles away, pretending that I'm a tropical animal when I'm not. My genetics are clearly northern. And also bringing up my physical performance along with that, being weak and lacking performance to bringing myself up to a state champion power lifter, a state record holding power lifter in a matter of uh, just coming up on three years. So, you know, when Ronnie, your results in health 
actually reflect your choices, I might listen. But until then, you are losing your teeth, you are getting metabolically... I don't, I don't know what's going on. Maybe the you're eating more avocados than you're letting on to, or maybe you're just smashing way too much sugar for your also northern genetics. So, and, and this is part of the issue with the vegan community. Like, people wonder why people hate vegans, and all you have to do is look at stuff like this. There's no, there's no real conversation with this comment. It's just spite, it's malice, it's vitriol, it's uh, somebody trying to reassure themselves that their own doubts in their own process while they're losing their teeth, while they're feeling like crap, while they're packing on weight, while they're not getting their promised, you know, 80, 10, 10, you know, ultimate health and, you know, fitness isn't happening for them. And they're questioning why, why, why am I still detoxing? Am I still just, maybe I need to fast, all this kind of crap. I'm not getting the results. Meanwhile, this guy who's also having problems goes back, finds something that works for him. When, when am I going to find him? When is this going to work for me? Hey, Ronnie, really sorry your tropical paradise fruitarianism isn't working for your northern ginger self. It seems to me like you might have some issues with identity for who you are, where you come from, and the regional adaptations of your heritage. You're not from the tropics. Sorry. Anyhow, yeah, don't want to spend too much time on that, but it's when these comments are constantly thrown at you, it's really easy to see why people just get frustrated. And a lot of people who have good things to say have just left YouTube because of the, <laughs> the vegan pestilence. Uh, but anyhow, let's talk about this. One thing that I noticed this week, and it took me by surprise, and it almost shocked me. See this photo? I'm going to put it up here now. This was from my early golden days of veganism, but it was at the end of 801010. Uh, in this photo, I had lost a significant amount of muscle, but I was still pretty healthy. I was running a lot, so you know, obviously catabolic. But I got this spot on my face, and it was large. It was this large brown spot, and I was like, holy cow, what is that? Like it just appeared one day. And it was one of my red flags that not everything was okay. Like I was way too young to have something that appeared to be a liver spot. And I've actually seen these types of brown spots on other 80-10 people's faces. And it looks like an old person's liver spot. And it has been there ever since, all through veganism, all when my triglycerides spiked. And I've done videos on this. I'm not going to keep beating a dead horse with the same stuff. And since I started OMAD, that spot has gotten smaller. It had gotten a little smaller after veganism, but the last two weeks, it started getting really small. So I can only hope that this is a sign of uh, regeneration and, you know, really healing the damage that all of the sugar uh, was causing my body, my skin, my liver, all of this kind of stuff. So I thought that was really interesting. Uh, let me know if you had any weird liver kind of spots in your skin when you were fruitarian or vegan or if you've had any kind of OMAD really intense healing uh, in that way uh, it just baffled me it like literally like looked like it happened almost overnight uh, so interesting stuff there I'll keep reporting back and see if it goes away and see if I can get some better photos I am looking to get a Google Pixel 3 phone so I can do some better <laughs> quality videos but we'll talking to Bobby's perspective this week be on the lookout for those videos I'm really excited to talk to the guy 
Uh, what I really enjoy about Bobby is not the fact that he's a failed vegan, whatever that means, or never was a vegan, according to Freely, who, by the way, Freely, I'm really concerned for your welfare, um, and I hope that the people around you are as well, and that maybe somebody can get you some help. You look really super anorexic, you look undernourished, malnourished, emaciated, it, and you just don't sound connected, you know, or stable. Um, and, and that's, me saying this is not uh, wishing you I told you so in any way. It's, it's actual, like, compassion for your welfare. Um, I, I hope you find some help. Uh, but we're... Yeah, so look out this week. I don't know how long it'll take to edit. But uh, Bobby and I are going to chat. I'm really looking forward to talking with him. Uh, one of the things that I love about Bobby is not that he's a failed vegan, um, not by any metric of the word. Uh, actually, he inspired a lot of people towards health uh, from a natural health perspective. But what I love about him is that he's able to take a hard look in the mirror and admit when he's wrong and when things aren't working and to be honest about it and do so from a place of logic. So that's gonna be exciting to talk about. We're gonna, I'm gonna do some vegan red flags with him and that'll be my side of it because I think he, like many people, um, ignored a lot of the symptoms and flags that came up and I kinda wanna keep putting those out there for people to consider Hope you're all well. Let me know what's going on for you with your OMAD, what's going on with you for your carnivore month. Any changes, revelations, thoughts about uh, Fruity Ronsters, comment to me. Have you had experiences like that where you haven't spoken out to anyone and chided them for their lack of results, but they come at you saying that you're just diseased. Whatever. Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time around.